Hello, I'm Keith Raven, and in this video, I'm going to give you the four key numbers that you need to focus on when you're thinking about getting pre-approved for a home loan. So the four numbers we're going to discuss in this short video is your income, your credit, your debt to income, and your down payment. So those are four key numbers when thinking about buying a home for the first time and in order to get pre-approved. Let's get into it right now. Your income, that is a super important part of getting a home loan. So the lender is going to make sure you're making a reliable income. What you're gonna need for your income is a couple months of pay stubs to prove that you are currently employed and have been employed for a few months in order to get a home loan. So it's kind of a no brainer. You're gonna want a couple months of pay stubs to see so that they can verify that you're making the amount that you had stated to them and that you've had consistent incomes for the last couple months. So that's the number one, real easy, is your income. Now the second number you're gonna focus on is your credit score. That may be one of the most important numbers that they're really gonna look at because they need to make sure that you have pretty good credit so that they know you're reliable and gonna pay that home loan back. Now there's three main sources that they pull your credit from. That's Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. What the lenders do is they take the middle score out of those three. They're not going to use your highest score. They're not going to use your lowest score. They're going to use that middle score. One site that a lot of people use that's not really accurate is Credit Karma. So keep that in mind when you're running Credit Karma, which a lot of people do. That credit score needs to be, FHA says at least, it needs to at least be 580 or better. Now. 580 is a little bit low, so you want to get above that. Lenders don't have to go off of that 580. They can set their own guidelines that their company wants to use as a minimum credit score. Typically, you're going to need probably a 620 credit score or better to get qualified for a home loan. Now, if you can get that credit score above 740, you're going to qualify for the best interest rate possible. So really try to keep focused on that credit score and keep improving it every month so that you can get the best interest possible when buying your first home. Now the third number, and maybe the most important right along with your credit score, is your debt to income ratio. A lot of people just focus on their credit score and they neglect the debt to income ratio. The debt to income ratio will tell the lender if you have too much debt compared to your income, in order to get a home loan. They want to make sure that you have enough money to pay your existing debt and your new mortgage. Ideally, you want to have a debt to income ratio between 43% to 50%. The lower the number, the better. In this case, unlike your credit score, where the higher the number, the better. And your debt to income ratio, the lower the percentage, the better. So ideally, you want to be below 50% Typically people are between 40 to 50% when getting a home loan. Now just a quick example in order to figure out what your debt to income ratio is, is you take your total debts divided by your total income. So let's use an, ex an easy example here and let's say that your total debts are $3,000 per month and your monthly income is a total of $5,000. You take the 3,000 divided by the 5,000, that gives you a 60% debt to income ratio, which if you go off my examples just a minute ago, that's gonna be too high for the loan officer to consider you for a home loan. So you wanna improve that, get that low. Let's use another example. Let's say your debts are 2,000 a month and your income is 5,000 a month. You divide the 2,000 by the 5,000 and that gives you roughly a 40% debt to income ratio. About right where you wanna be to get that home loan. And again, if you can get it lower, the better. So there's a quick example, and I'll do another video on debt to income ratio at another time, but that's a quick example of your debt to income ratio. So, so far, the number three uh, numbers you need to focus on to get a home loan is your income, your credit score, and your debt to income ratio. So now the fourth number you're gonna to wanna to focus on, along with the other three, is the down payment and closing costs. Down payments can vary depending on what loan you, you qualify for. There's VA loans and there's um, USDA loans. Typical two types of loans are FHA and conventional. An FHA loan, you're probably gonna to need to put down about three and a half percent of the loan. So an easy number to take into to consideration is a $100,000 house. You're buying a $100,000 house. 
pretty easy to figure out. That's 3,500. Now you want to, that's not including your closing costs. That's just the down payment. So if you're a conventional, you'll probably need 3% or more. Uh, you know, you can put whatever you want down, but a minimum of 3%, typical is 5%. If you qualify for FHA, minimum is 3.5%. Again, you can put more down if you choose to do that. So closing costs are also there. That's anywhere from 1% of the loan to 3%. Closing costs, um, a little bit complicated, and I'll do another video on that. There's a lot of factors in closing costs, title, inspection, um, appraisals. So you want to consider your down payment and your closing costs. So there you go. That's a quick video on the, the key four numbers that you're going to need to focus on when trying to get a home loan. Now, if you're in the South Bend, Mishawaka, Elkhart, Granger, uh, real estate areas, I'm really happy to help you find your home, first home, give you tips and advice, do some searching for you. Give me a call. My number's right here, 574-229-6803. We'll see you on the next video.